Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Hey everybody, go to assholeconsulting.com. You got questions, you wanna know what I think? People really pay you? Yes, they do. They pay me. They don't pay you, they pay me. They pay me. I Do you get paid? No. It's to my detractors. The two responses to the asshole consulting. It's like, fr f you know, friends are like, dude, that's, I can't believe it's awesome. Like, yeah, I know, me too. And then foes, why, why would you pay for that? Why? Because they do, motherfucker. They do. And you're just, you're total gel. 100% gel. The fact that I actually am heated and you're not. You could start a blog. You could write 10 years. You could predict housing bubbles and things to crash. You could be a great economist. Go achieve shit and you can, you can be your own consultant. In the meantime, you're just some fucking limp dick loser. <laughs> a professional troll. <laughs> uh, hello, I was a longtime fan of your YouTube videos and general views on life, politics, economics. I'm curious what you think about Donald Trump's recently announced tax policy. In case you're unaware, Trump plans to replace the existing tax bracket with a 0, 10, 15, 20, and 25% plan, <clears throat> where those earning less than 25000 would pay nothing, as well as married couples earning less than $50,000. He would also cap the corporate tax at 15% in an effort to reduce corporate inversion, whereby companies locate overseas to avoid U.S. corporate taxes. The full details of his plan can be found on his website under position. Took a look at it. It's basically what the guy said. While I like the policy overall, I do not believe that reducing the corporate tax rate will reattract companies to the U.S. as much as Trump seems to think it will. My understanding is that companies outsource and relocate not only to escape U.S. corporate taxes, but they can, so they can pay foreign workers considerably less than American workers for the same job. Obviously, the American dollar goes a lot further in a country like India or China than it does here at home, especially when China manipulates their exchange rate. Yeah, kind of does. I'm curious as to the thoughts on Trump's tax plan specifically the reduction in the corporate tax and generally how beneficial you think his business experience would be if he's elected president. Well, let's do it for the reverse. Yeah, I think his business experience, even though there's debate as to whether he's a really good businessman because he files for bankruptcy and a couple of his entities have, uh, it's better than anyone running right now. He's the only guy, except for Ben Carson, I think Ben Carson has a little bit more experience, but I think Ben Carson is a, is a surgeon, whereas... Um, Donald Trump has managed enterprises and businesses. Um, so, and plus, Trump has just got balls. He just has the fucking balls. He's like Putin. He, uh, you know, maybe not a judo expert, but I definitely think uh, Trump is the guy. I know a lot of people are worried about him being a plan. I know a lot of people are worried about him not being um, presidential. I don't give a fuck. I want a guy that goes in there and fights for fucking once. I want a guy who's not not intimidated by, ooh, they might call me a racist. I, I'm so suck, so fucking sick and tired of uh, these limp dick Republicans that are, that are nominated. So Carson is kind of like, you know, theoretically in should a world, I'd like Carson to win because uh, he's the most intelligent in, in private sector. He's not a fucking career politician. Um, but in terms of the man for the time, it's Trump. But, you know, that's it. So I think, yes, absolutely his managerial and business experience makes him, makes him certainly qualified to be president. More than any other fucking president we've had since fucking Reagan. Reagan even had, that was the key thing. He didn't have political experience. I know, he, I know, I know, he was governor. I know, I know, but he was an actor. He, just, he wasn't fucking Bernie, you know, Bernie Sanders fucking, oh, I'm going to go run for mayor at 12. I got elected because people are fucking idiots. Yeah. Um, now, as for his tax plan, uh, it's it, ideally, I'm just going to tell you, it's not my opinion. The best tax is a flat sales tax because you get rid of the IRS. You, uh, you, no one has to do with their taxes. That burden is outsourced to corporations and companies that have to take a sales tax. It just makes life a lot more easier for everybody. It makes life better for, I don't know, who, who, who does the government serve again? Oh, right, that's right, the people. <laughs> it's fucking... Um, so I am I am for flat tax sales tax. That's it. Flat sales tax. Boom, we're done. And and then you save God Almighty. <laughs> Explicit costs. I calculated it up one time. I think it's like a full two, maybe even three percent of GDP. 
where people aren't fucking around dealing with accountants. You could go do something else that's productive instead of this laborious time sink that just sucks production out of the economy every April the 15th. Um, but it's still better because it simplifies it. Uh, I think it's going to sell real well because it targets the poor very well. Like, look, you make only 25 grand, you don't pay taxes. <clears throat> um, it's lower than the overall tax rates. Um, and I don't, I, there's debate about whether it's revenue neutral. I don't see how that could possibly be. But, <clears throat> you know, if you're closing loopholes and shit like that, or you're just getting more people to, to work more, Lord knows who economists did what assumptions on that. But I like it because it's, it's going to bring in less revenue. It's lower taxes overall. Um, and it's simple. It's like boom, 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 you're there. Again, not my ideal. It would be a sales tax, but simpler. Uh, and the corporate tax, yeah, it's better because it's going down, but fuck, you know, just get rid of the fucking corporate. It's so, it is so stupid we have a corporate tax. Do you want businesses? Do you want employers? Do you want investment in the U.S.? Well, how about you get rid of the fucking tax? And while, why don't you get rid of the fucking attitude and lip you leftists have over corporations? Like these evil corporations are fucking sentient beings and the, you, you're fucking... Your, your, your witch hunt to, to blame and look for some kind of thing to rationalize taking money away. Fine, corporations just go overseas. You, you should be like kissing the asses of corporations. Get them in here. Zero percent tax. Why the fuck? You know, there's like, I, last I checked, what was it? Two trillion, three trillion and foreign corporate money sitting in overseas accounts. And just like, if you just got rid of the corporate tax, it'd come here and they'd invest. And here's the other thing that I don't like about the 15% tax. It doesn't go far enough. Now, now, the corporations have spent billions of dollars getting their asses legally over to other countries. For 15%, they're not coming back here. And that's the other thing. It would almost have to be guaranteed to be 15%. It should be zero, but there's got to be a guarantee because corporations are not going to remove their headquarters back here. Like, hey, Donald. And then, like, four years later, oh, what? It's President Sanders. We got rid of Trump. And now it's, they, 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 they're long term thinkers. You'd have to have it put in the Constitution, which is what I've recommended, is that there be a constitutional amendment that no more than 20% of your income and property is taken from you by the state. Uh, be a con and and it, like, so there would be a constitutional amendment that would eliminate corporate income taxes. Because then they say, holy shit, it's in their Constitution. They're not going to get rid of it anytime soon unless there's like a, a, a congressional congress or a constitutional congress, wherever you change amendments. Then you'd have people investing here in the long term. As for the, the idea that, well, they, they not only invest overseas for the taxes, but for the low labor, well, but they're not conjoined. What, what you'll do is you'll typically have, if you're a truly international company, you will have your corporate headquarters set up in the Caymans or Dubai or Jersey or some place that has preferential to, uh, tax rate, zero taxes. You have your facilities, your manufacturing based in China and you go to the mall of the world called the United States of America and you sell to the spoiled brat cunts of the world who borrow money and never fucking work or produce anything. Um, so that's kind of how you would do it. So just because you have your corporate headquarters at a place doesn't mean that's where you have to have your facilities. Um, th that much is obvious. So you wouldn't be getting, which is fine, you wouldn't be getting you know, tedious blue collar manual labor jobs back. You'd be getting white collar jobs back. The accountants, the the managers, you know, you set up new offices. That Those are the jobs you want because they're easier than slaving away putting together a fucking iPhone. So you're, you're not, uh, you would still get his tax benefit. I just wish it was zero because it would make it so much simpler to, to discuss. But what corporations are going to be incentivized to come back to the United States, they're going to bring only their white-collar jobs and their headquarters. They're not going to bring their facilities over. Um, that that's, has nothing to do with tax policy. That has to do with labor policy, minimum wage, unions. Um, and the fact that these third world countries are just, they got billions of people. You're not going to beat them. You're just not. It also has to do with that we, we unfairly, and I, this is horrible what Clinton, ever since Clinton came along, uh, all the presidents, <clears throat> is that they let the Chinese control their exchange rate, which is totally unfair because that truly undermines U.S. labor competitiveness, but um, neither here nor there. No, it, it, it's a good plan. Um, it's certainly the best one I've seen in a long time. <clears throat> it's not optimal. It's not what I'd do. Hell, I'd even be happy to have a very high sales tax rate, 40%, because it, you just make things so much simpler. People could actually see what their fucking, what the true cost of government is. Uh, but, but 
my preferences aside, it, it's good. It's, it's the best plan I've seen put forward by any of the candidates so far. Um, but it, you know, it could. I don't know why it just didn't go so much further. I mean, it, I guess he. There is some element and strategic element uh, to his plan because you are going to get poor people to vote for him. They, I mean, he's just going to say, "Look, you got no taxes. Fuck you. You know, come vote for me." And that, it's that simplicity. I think that that's why. Well, that's why you have any. Gr- progressive income tax system is so you can tax the rich and give to the poor and buy votes from the idiots. It's, uh, that's how it works. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I like it. Yeah, go Trump. And I still have nicer hair than he does. Doodles.